In this video, I'm going to share with you like seven or eight Google fonts that are free and some of them are variable fonts and a lot of designers, they don't know about it. If you are a UI designer or you are an experienced designer and you are wondering what font you should be use, uh, should be using in your next project, I am going to share with you like seven or eight different uh, fonts from Google fonts and I'm going to share with you how they are going to look um, in our design. So let's get started. And uh, here is my design file in Figma. So uh, the first one I'm going to share with you is actually my favorite, which is fig tree. I have recently used it in a project. I'm going to share with you that one too. So here is fig tree. Let's zoom in a bit uh, into fig tree and you can see it is very clean uh, kind of um, a bit sans serif uh, uh, that is uh, a bit geometric some uh, some human uh, kind of uh, touch to it like you can see in the A uh, so it is kind of geometric a uh, little bit closer to geometric so it is good for businesses and companies um, let's try to zoom in okay so this one this zoom is good so this one is fig tree and let me show you uh, for paragraph text i really love it it's clean it's minimal um, it has some human forms too so it is really really readable and legible uh, let me show you so here i have a design and if you look over here so this is actually fig tree i'm using over here in the paragraphs uh, so let's zoom out a bit so here you can see we have a heading and uh, heading is a bit different font that is Sora actually uh, Sora and I am using um, fig tree and Sora actually so I am sharing both these fonts right now so this is the actual design let me show you the whole design so this is a landing page I did uh, so this is my favorite for paragraphs I really love it it's very clean very um, crisp uh, a bit geometric next is sora so you can see it is kind of edgy and have some hard edges uh, around it so maybe for technology firms maybe for finance firms maybe uh, coding uh, related websites development related websites this is a really really nice uh, even work for uh, technology firms too so this is my second font uh, sora from google font i think some of them are also um variable fonts so that would be a plus for when you are using it on uh, using a web de web development uh third one is krub krub uh i don't recommend it for technology firms it is a bit um, you can say a stylish kind of sans serif i have some more curves to it so you can see if you look at a woman and a man women have more curves so uh, I would uh, rate it that if you want to use it, you can use it for uh, maybe diet plans or uh, maybe some fashion uh, or related websites or maybe something that is related to entertainment maybe. So uh, this is, you can see in this example, I'm using it for paleo diet plan customized to your health and allergies. So uh, this is a nice one, I think. Um, for these kind of websites, let's go to the next one. So we have Gantari typeface. Uh, it is again a bit squarish kind of font. So I normally and generally when I see any font, I try to see whether it's very tall or whether it's a bit wider, whether it's a bit shorter, uh, how it actually fits in a shape. So rectangular shape or squared shape. So this is a bit of squarish kind of uh, typeface very clear very clean you can use it in mobile apps easily you can use it in web designs mostly for businesses and technology firms i recommend this now let's go to the next one so here is the next one morencho morencho typeface i really love it because I think it is the best replacement for Open Sans. I, I really don't like Open Sans. It has been overused uh, in 
tons of millions of websites so make sure you you try to use this morencho and all these i think they have like five plus styles so there's no um, problem with the styling so this is a really really nice humanist uh, kind of uh, sans serif so let's uh, humanist means actually it has some human touches more um, contrast when typing it is not very geometric okay okay next one is a bit old uh, typeface gentium book plus typeface so you can see i actually used um, a bookish uh, website where uh, reading books i think it is good for books or printing uh, also if you have a website that is more related to some um, old theme some maybe some fashion uh, maybe some styling um, you can use that or maybe a business that has been established like 200 years ago you can use that so this is gentium book plus typeface i really like it um, very close to the old typefaces humanist typeface okay serif typeface this is actually so this is a bit of modern serif typeface with more uh, slants and more thickness uh, more styling you can use it for uh, maybe some uh, diet plans or food related website or app and also you can use it for you can see reading like this one i, I actually uh, designed these in just few few minutes ago next one is francis uh, so this one I really love it. It is very clean, uh, very nice. Uh, I I really love how this T is over here. You can see the end of the T, the top, um, a bit squarish kind of typeface, uh, but really really nice. So it is very clean, very clear, very easy to read. Um, uh, good for technology firms, maybe for businesses, uh, maybe for um, new technology apps or something like that really nice so this is uh, the last i think it was not francis it was let's see um uh, it was plus jakarta sans so let's correct it over here plus jakarta sans so this is my last i face plus jakarta sans sorry for the uh, this interruption okay so you can find these over here you can see this is uh, fig tree on google uh, i think it has a variable font very you can see over here very clear on in a paragraph i love it uh, then we have let's see uh, this is francis this is crobe and then we have gentium book plus very old type uh, typeface um here we have plus jakarta here we have morencho and morencho is also very nice on smaller sizes um then we have gantari and then we have sora a bit squarish kind of stylish kind of developer friendly and then we have the last one which is victory so um in my last design, you can see I am using Sora uh, along with Fig Tree. This is a really nice combination. So uh, that is uh, all. Let's zoom out and show you. Uh, you can see this is my uh, different variations. I really, uh, in the end, I would really try in my next project Morencho, uh, typeface and uh, also Francis. So these are right now and also plus Jakarta Sands. These three are going to be my next favorites or maybe favorites right now from the new typefaces Google have released. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe for more videos like these. I normally discuss about user experience design, user interface design, and I teach uh, to more than 100K students uh, around the globe about user experience design. You can check out my courses on my website, link below. Uh, also, um, we will put it over here, learnuxid.com. The first course is free, so join that. We'll meet you in another video. Till then, take care.
Bye-bye.